Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Last Victim, and this is a new neo-western thriller from director Naveen A. Shathaparam, and this is focusing on uh, an, um, down in the American Southwest following a sheriff played by Ron Perlman, who's investigating one of the worst cases he's ever seen in the small town when this dangerous, dangerous man, Jake, played by Ralph Ennison, shows up and causes some mayhem, and you have Ali Larder playing Susan, who gets caught up in the affair out in the woods, out in the wilderness, and things get a little intense. And I have to say, when you have a film, and you could set it up in its opening scene so well, that goes a long way. This opening sequence is so well directed, so well shot, so intense, and well acted. Like, Ralph Innocent absolutely kills it in this movie. I love him from start to finish, and he is such a talented actor, whether it's The Witch or The Green Knight. One year hence. Just his voice, too, is just this booming, controlled, just like shaking kind of experience and it's so great in this film as well because he really makes an impact and a presence he's intimidating he's intense and he puts you on edge and he's really the anchor as the antagonist here and you have Ron Perlman who's Ron Perlmaning it just being this tough as nail sheriff and he was just born for this role it's so much fun I enjoyed him and honestly, Ali Larder does a really fine job as well as our leading actress who anchors this film. And, you know, I feel like the film does get a little long in the tooth, and it gets, you know, pretty predictable at times. It's like a lot of this film takes place in, like, this chase out in the wilderness and stuff like that. It's one of those kinds of films, but it does have plenty of things thrills and intensity and tension thanks to our director who does a fantastic job of pulling this together. Now, I don't think this is the most bold or interesting and unique or fresh narrative, but I feel like the pieces, these characters stand out so well and the direction stands out so well that it really elevates this neo-western to something a little bit above average. Like, you know, I don't know how interested and invested you're going to be narratively in this film but you can latch on to some of these characters and the atmosphere and the direction of the film and feel that intensity feel that thrill ride and this really is effective as a thriller it makes use of its neo-western setting in the south american southwest to really capture this lawlessness because, like, that's one of the most interesting things about, like, the law versus lawlessness in Westerns. And this film really captures that. Perlman and Innocent are two sides of a coin. And both are these gripping, intense, like, I think Innocent's stronger performance here overall, what he's able to bring to the character. But Perlman's also, like, tough as nails. And we love seeing him on screen. At least I do. And, you know, we have enough from our main central protagonist to actually get something out of it. But it really comes down to this is an intense and thrilling neo-Western. Especially if you're a fan, this is definitely worth your time. But those are my thoughts on The Last Victim. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.